We're fighting a boss right off the bat. It's a boss that summons other bosses. Remember that? Wouldn't that be something? Isn't that weird? We did not beat the queen last time. This this is the run. Honestly, it would be a great mojo for the stream if I could beat um, the boss on the first attempt. How about Hyperscape? Dude, I know there's a little scuttlebutt. For anybody who's not familiar, Hyperscape is Ubisoft's new Battle Royale um, that Justin has been playing. Uh, because he is a well-respected content creator, even though his Uplay name is Best Boy 2016 uh, I'm very interested in playing it. There's been some annoyance with other content creators that are like, um... You know, I don't like that companies are using Twitch drops as a way to, like, get people into their the betas of their game. For me, I'm like, dude, I love it. Keep the thing on him. I love it. Because, uh... It means that I get to watch Justin's stream, and then also, every time I log into Twitch, I, I get to click that bell and see if I've been given uh, a piece of loot. Is this actually hurting you? Okay. The Squalid Queen. I remember you. Yas, Queen. Yo, that did hurt you? Oh, I, I should have just kept swinging, dude, like Dory. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's three skeletons, dude! You know what that means? I think we can just leave one skeleton alive. Who? Like, kill two of these sons of guns. Don't get me wrong. I'll take the hit there. Leave the other skelly alive. Leave him alive! You remember that? Leave Brittany alone? Those were the days. I was I talked about it in an Isaac episode. Can you believe that we are only about four or five years away from there being 20-year-old viral videos? Like, Charlie bit my finger is not- it's not the first viral video. But even that is from like 2006. It's only six years away from being two decades old. That's crazy. Or the one where that guy goes, and some waffle fries. That's probably from like 2005. Don't hit the skeleton, dude. Star Wars kid. That's true. That's that hurts, but I was I was mid heal. Yoink. We gotta protect that skeleton, dude. What's that one? Din's fire? I don't think so. Rep. <laughs> We're doing okay. We're doing okay. You know what else is crazy? The binding of Isaac series is older than your daughter. That's absolutely correct. I was actually, I was trying to put it into context uh, for myself yesterday. I was like, I felt like we lived in our old place for 100 years. That hurts again. Um, we, we lived in our old place for almost five years. It felt like I lived 10 lifetimes there. But by the time we moved into the place, the Rebirth series was still six months old. <laughs> and that's only Rebirth. That's not even Isaac proper. Just get away from the skeleton, dude. Isaac has been recorded in four different places, right? Um, oh, really? I took too long, maybe. Uh... I don't know, Isaac has been recorded in, like, literally ten different places. Korea. My parents' house. The first place Caden and I lived. The second place Caden and I lived, which is when Rebirth came out. The last place we lived, and now this new place as well. So, ten is too much, maybe, but... 
That hurt. Just stay, stay frosty. We're out! No, no, and I don't have... I don't have any other healing items on my quick bar. It's just very good carvings! Come on! <laughs> we were close. We were close. We should have just gone faster. Quite frankly. Alright, you know what? Like, it's been a fun meme. But I think it's actually time to accept that, uh, really, anything that artificially extends the length of Dark Souls 2 is no longer necessary. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Well, it's not a great start. Have you checked Big Brother's subreddit recently? It's popping off. I mean, I, I'll just tell you. I, I really, as time has gone on, I don't think Dan is going on Big Brother. However, this is the longest radio silence I think I've ever experienced from Dan. I will say that. His announcement is tomorrow? I can't remember. It was tomorrow or Sunday. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's fine, actually. It's Sunday. Okay. See, like, dude, I, don't, I didn't realize a full week without Daniel... That's a, that's a curse, dude. I'm missing some of that energy in my life right now. It's a, it's a cursed week. Like, it's... I mean, it's been a cursed week for a number of reasons. But no Malvstream last Saturday. No Malvstream today because he's getting the new Volvo uh, with some Valvoline in it. Whatever, hit me. See if I care, dude. Nope. Gotta be a little faster. No, 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 no! I was in such a good spot. So few mouth streams over the course of the past week. So much, uh, so few, uh... The Daniel streams, look, I don't even want to be like, uh rude to Daniel because he is doing like reruns but a rerun's not the same it's just not the same did you get a hyperscape drop I have not yet my my representation um, David Miyazaki aka the designer of Elden Ring uh, said, hey, you don't need to wait for drops. I can just ask Ubisoft to give me one. Um, and I was like, you know what? It literally didn't even cross my mind. I was just sh shit posting in Justin's chat for like 45 minutes. Being like, where's the drops? Every time Justin gets a squad wipe, it makes drops. I was enjoying being part of the community. But I, I have not received the code yet, but it, it might be in transit. It looked fun. It, it looked, uh, like, I'll be honest, I'm like, Warzone owns me right now. Okay, this is fine. However, uh, it, it looked fun. It looked kind of like, like Apex, but the fights, that's not good. That's bad. <laughs> The fights are insanely fast and also take place largely in buildings, which is really, really bad for my skill set. Ruka, it's kind of freaking out a little bit. What skill set? I mean, my skill set is basically like pistols and then also. Uh, Apollo calling someone out 
that's 400 meters away and have no chance to shoot back at us and then shooting them. That's the that's the best option. <laughs> The pistol's auto-aim in hyperscape? Now you're speaking my language. Anyway, it looks cool. I'm not gonna have, like, a, a big brain... Uh... Like, oh, well, I... Wah, wah, wah. You know? It looks cool. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here to give it a chance. Did I not... Maybe I didn't have anything to pick up. Yeah, summons are for cowards. Can we get exclamation point summon? There's no optional boss when you play Dark Souls on Twitch. So we will go back for the ancient dragon. Skeletons, dude. I'm the giant bony that makes all the rules. And then also, you're not allowed to ever summon. Uh, or you'll never hear the end of it. While Dan beat Manus without summoning. And it only took him 45 streams. Until he got stuck in uh, the architecture. Dude, I love the dance. I didn't even think about the fact. With no, with no Daniel and no clip show, you can just mercilessly mock him. And he will never hear about it. And never punch back. It's a little dream come true. I, I'm not mad, but I'm a little mad that the auto-targeting was like, yeah, the far away skeleton. Alright, guess what? You get to live. Din's fire. Green management. You didn't you didn't move. What a what a cheeky little teleport there. Okay, you know what? That one's on me. That this is not my best fight. Come on, skeleton. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good kiting. Good kiting. Never mind that she's a genius, dude. Okay. Two Estes is not a great place to be here, but we got life gems. Will you do watch parties if Dan goes on Big Brother? Uh, I'll get banned if I do that. However, I will watch every episode. And we will, we will talk about it ad nauseum. There's no doubt about that one. I love the idea. People are like, I think they'll let Dan in the Big Brother house. One HP dream. And they'll they'll let him stream. He just won't be able to read chat. And I'm like, yeah. On on one of CBS's largest shows, they're gonna be like, go ahead. You can you can stream. But we're gonna force you to just have chat off. I don't I don't think CBS would make that exception. It would be hilarious, though. No, oh, no, no. Heavy life gem. Old Radiant. Old Radiant. Oh, good strafing, brother. Good strafing. The double HP dream is pretty nuts. Not today. No, no. We were doing so well. <laughs> okay, keep it moving. You get you get a couple of free shots now and then. Oh, not as free as I wanted. Get some stam, get some stam. Pop a radiant. Keep running. Nope. Keep running. This is a run situation. I I got hit but didn't get stunned. I'll take it. That time I got hit and stunned. Really? I gave her an uppercut right to the freaking pancreas, dude! <laughs> Alright, I got a new theory. Which is, even if she summons skeletons, kill them all, and then just go hard on her. I think that's that's the best play. Have you considered that roguelike Souls mod for the future? Yeah, dude. Um, 
So, for context, there's a game, or a mod for Dark Souls 1, I think it's called Daughters of Ash, that just came out. I know it's a little buggy, but it's turned into a, uh, it takes Dark Souls 1 and turns it into a roguelike. So, um, you get a... That's the old one? Okay, it's from the creators of the Daughters of Ash mod. Um, it, it ranks the bosses in terms of, like, difficulty, so it gives you, like, a boss pool. You fight a boss from the easy pool, and you get a little loot. You fight a boss from the, like, one tier up, you get a little bit of loot. So it's like a roguelike Dark Souls, uh... Okay, well, this should be fun. Uh, mod. Essentially, I'm not saying I invented it, but, like, you know how two weeks ago, I was like, man, someone should really just make a roguelike, uh... Dark Souls uh, boss rush game? Literally a week later. Nope. Uh, I see a post that's like, hey, someone made it. That's that's what I call uh, great minds thinking alike. I don't think I inspired anybody. I think literally they just went, uh, you know, Probably like a year ago, they were like, this would be a cool thing to explore. Are you winning, son? Hey, you know what? Like, I'm not mad at this boss. I do think it's hilarious that it's either, like, pretty easy or really, really difficult based on what she summons. But I also like, uh, this is one of the first bosses that has actually been, like, a, a fight. Instead of just walking in and then attacking over and over and over. Or alternatively, uh, the boss hitting you once and killing you, like Ancient Dragon and, and Vendrick to some extent as well. So, I'm, uh, I'm not too upset by this one. Okay, that makes sense. No, no Din's fire. I just ask you. I, I am asking you again for no Din's fire, please. It's way easier with normal weapons. Oh, no kidding. Here I was under the impression I was using the most overpowered weapons in the game. You're telling me there's a better option than than two incredibly short range things attached to my hands? I'd be surprised. Okay, I like this, because I can still see what you're up to, kind of. Just go hard. No, Din's fire! Din's fire! How's that water? It's not the best water I've ever had. I don't know, like, sometimes we, we have a fridge water dispenser, because we're balling. And uh, sometimes it's, like, cold and amazing. And then sometimes it's, like... Like, I wouldn't say lukewarm, but just cool instead of cold. And I'm like, what happened there? I wanted, I wanted ice-cold water, and it has a variable temperature. I am a cold water man. I mean, I'm like, I am. I am cold to room temperature. I am super not a hot water guy. Like, if I worked at uh, the the company that makes the the water coolers, there would not be a red tap on them. I don't believe I've ever used the the red tap. for making tea. Yeah, but I don't like drink tea, really. I'm not saying nobody should. It's three skeletons. 
I do drink a hot beverage from time to time. I used to be very anti-hot beverage. Um, but I still much prefer cold beverages. I'm a, I'm a cold man. Iced tea, iced coffee, cold canned tea, cold bottled tea, I can get down with. I also, uh, you know, I, I got a bone to pick with tea drinkers. Y'all gotta stop talking like you're superior to coffee drinkers just because you drink tea. You got a real, like, weird superiority complex around tea. Oh, I don't drink coffee. I drink tea because I care about my health. Mmm, a, a cup of hot brown. How interesting. I'm having a, a delicious oolong. You wouldn't understand. It's a tea thing. Okay, I'm gonna dodge your attack and heal. How about that? That's, that's an AoE. That's an AoE. We got a chance to heal. We got to kill her before she summons the freaking boss, though. Good. Better? Good. I love it. Keep the skeleton in her dress. Great work. Not great work! Wait for an attack. Wait for an attack on this one. And then heal. Not you! Not you! If I'm being honest, boys, I'm ready for Dark Souls 2 to end. Yeah, me too. Absolutely correct. Still got a ways to go. I know. I know. I will say, once once we're done, if you want to know my opinion on Dark Souls 2, when we played Randomizer, I was so jazzed, we played uh, Randomizer again immediately. When we played Randomizer again, I said, dude, I really want to play Dark Souls 3. When we finished Dark Souls 3, I said, man, that was awesome. Let's play some Dark Souls 2. At the end of Dark Souls 2, I will be taking a break uh, from Souls games for a while. It is it has sapped most of my will to immediately play Sekiro or Bloodborne again. To have a Thursday slot open for more variety, I think would be a good thing both for me and for the audience at this point in my in my professional life. <laughs> Ah, you have got the reach on that thing. Okay, we're killing skeletons today. Go ahead, hit me. It's not like I can get away with it anyway. What's coming? What's coming? Din's fire? Go ahead. I'm not anti Dark Souls 2. I still think it's pretty good. But every week is kind of an onslaught of. There's like at least. It's more skeletons, dude. There's like at least two things in every week of Dark Souls 2 where I go, ah. It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm using the Seistus. But the Seistus was like also... Why? The Seistus was also a way to get people interested in the playthrough beyond just like, hey, it's just another Souls. Instead of like, mm, big hammer, destroy all enemies. It's kind of like, hey, let, let's put a little sauce on this one. But... Uh, I think it's fair to say 
I regret it modestly. Is that AoE? Honestly, pop this life gem, dude, and get in there. She's going down. The heck? Not today. I'm not. Whatever that is, I'm not letting it go. <laughs> I'm not letting it get out there. Soul of Elana, the squalid queen. That's pretty cool. It's another boss immediately. How about that? I like that. I'm I'm pro that. I just recently learned of the Canadian abomination known as